Good day, everyone. We are here to present our mini feasibility study in managerial accounting. So this is our presentation summary, and these are the topics to cover later on. And here is my group members, Mr. Chris Mon Amali, Nick Dominic Perez, Ms. Trisha Gonzalez, and Mr. Ron Merene. Potato Kitchen Corporation will offer its customers with a delicious, best quality and affordable prices of potato balls that will satisfy the needs and demands of customers. And here is Mr. Merene to present the market analysis. Market analysis. First is stop. Stop are looking for affordable and delicious. Second, junior high school, senior high school, and college students. The business product caters to student tastes, cravings, and budgets for junior high school to college. And here is Chris Monumali for mission and vision. Vision. To share a commitment of excellence, we are devoted to the uncompromising quality of our product, people, services, and profit while taking exceptional care of our customer. We will continuously strive to surface our own accomplishments and be organized as a leader of our own industry. For, for the vision of our business, in making this product, we are committed to give a high quality products and services for us to grow more and serve a broader community in the future. Next slide. Mission, to be a part of people's life through offering tasty food with a high quality service and affordable prices inside the University of Batangas main campus. In our mission, it is explain our organization's reasons for existence. It is also describes our organization's purpose and its overall intention. The mission statement supports our visions and serves to communicate purpose and direction to our employees, future customers, and as stakeholders. Next slide. Product overview. Potato balls are created from the finest available ingredients. A roll of mashed potatoes for a boost of fiber and potassium. Filled with 100% pure ground meat and melted cheese and topped with a creamy sauce that complements the whole taste. As a whole, our potato balls are crunchy on the outside and meaty on the inside. In this product overview, we put here what our product is and why it is worth purchasing. We explain the important information about the features and benefits of our product so they will imagine the taste and looks of our potato balls. And here is Ms. Gonzalez to present potato balls ingredients. And for the ingredients of potato balls, these ingredients are from the wet market because they are cheaper than in supermarkets. Ingredients are potatoes, butter, egg yolk, salt, pepper, garlic, flour, ground pork, magic syrup, slice and cheese, oil, onion, and ketchup. And for the procedure, here is Mr. Marane. Procedure. Step 1. Peel and boil the potatoes. Step 2. Salt ground pork and with onion and garlic. Step 3. Mash the potatoes and cool them. Shape and fill the potato balls with cheese and pork. Step 5. Fold the potato balls. And lastly, step 6. Deep fry the potato balls. And here, Chris Monomali for product highlight. Product highlights. These potato balls are great as an appetizer or side dish. On the outside, these fried mashed potatoes balls are crunchy. However, on the inside, they are soft and floppy. More than just that, they also filled with ground pork and melted cheese. Product highlights adds vital information of our products. Give us customers highlights of the key benefits of potato balls. And here is Mr. Perez to present purpose of the product. The purpose of this product is to serve its customers with the delicious, best quality, and affordable prices. 
we all know that product innovation. We all know that people wanted to try different flavors, sizes, and shapes. So with this, we will have a variety of choices in the future. We are planning to have different sizes and shapes of potatoes, as well as different choices of filling. And here is Miss Gonzalez to present the marketing mix. For the market study, next slide po. Marketing mix. It is the set of action or tactics that a company uses to promote its brand or product in the market. The four pieces make up a typical market mix such as price, product, promotion, and place. First is product. Potato balls are produced from good quality crops in a way that address people's concerns about issues such as health and the origins of their food. Second is place. Business takes great care to minimize the impact on the environment. Clean environment with fresh air accessible to students and staff. The third is price. They offer an affordable price. And lastly is promotion. Platforms to be used are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and banners. And for the marketing strategy, here is Marene. Marketing strategy. The main marketing strategy that our company will be using is the social media. The company will be active in social media platforms, specifically Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, to increase awareness and visibility to younger generation, particularly the millennials. Sales strategy. The sales strategy will emphasize that ordering and buying potato balls from, kit, from potato kitchen is very easy, accessible, and pleasing experience. The sales effort will work on the possibility of having its own website in the long run and pages in social media as a tool used in ordering it will be quite important to help friendly easy to in interface in the future course of the business and and here is dominic perez to discuss the techn technical study technical study it is near to the target market area since we are located at the, at the school's canteen it also, it also has an easy access in the raw materials and distribution channels because our school is located at different near market stores. Also, the product is, is, is easy to make since you saw that a while ago in the, pro, in the procedure presented by Mr. Marene. And here is Ms. Gonzalez to present the competitors. For the competitors, competitors are other businesses that can offer your customers the same or similar goods and services. Since potato balls are made of potatoes and within the University of Batangas, Keramo and Potpots will be their competitors. And for the SWOT analysis, here is Mr. Umali. This is our SWOT analysis for strength. First, we have highly enthusiastic team. Our team is consists of well-trained personals and their passion is to give service to others. Second, tasty food. Our product is made from fresh ingredients and made from quality procedure. Third is easy to make and serve. It is easy to make and it only takes a minute to serve. For weaknesses, food cart has low exposure. Our food cart is quite small compared to others. Expensive price. Since the price of our raw materials is unstable, sudden increase of price will affect our product. For our opportunities, face-to-face -face class will be back soon. The student and teacher will be back soon in, in University of Batangas. And, it's, and it is a great opportunity for us to sell our products and increase our sales. Customers proximity. One of our advantages is the accessibility of our market to our customers. Threats, Compa competitors offer cheaper price. Since it was school canteen, we can expect a lot of competitors and that competitors can offer a cheaper price. Even though it was not the same product, they still our competitors. Rising cost of ingredients. Since the inflation rate is striking our economy, one of the threats in our business in is the 
rising cost of ingredients, it may affect our prices. And lastly, more competition around. The location of our store is located in the University of Batangas School Canteen, and students have a lot of choices to choose among those stores to buy, and that's the threats of our business. And here is Ms. Gonzalez to present pricing strategy. And for the pricing strategy, this is the pricing policy. 15 pesos for one piece, 30 pesos for two pieces, and 40 pesos for three pieces. And here is Mr. Merene for the sales projection. For the sales projection, this is a table of sales projection. The, qu the quantity per month of one piece is 35 with 12%. In the two pieces is 90%, 90 with 32%. And in three pieces is 160 with 56%. And the total of 285 with 100%. In the first year, the, the total of quantity, quantity units is 3,420 and the total of peso in the first year is 115,500. In the second year of the total quantity units is 3,762 and the total of peso in the second year is 12750. In the third year, the total of quantity units is 4,138 and the total of peso in the third year is 139,750. In the fourth year, the total of quantity units is 452, 4,552, and the total of peso in fourth year is 153,725. Lastly, in the fifth year, the total of quantity units is 5,008, and the total of peso in fifth year is 169,125. And here is Dominic Perez to discuss the capital expenditure. This is our table for the capital expenditure. As we, as we can see here, these are the expenses that we have in the ingredients that we use. Also, their prices with 285 serving of potato balls and in one year. So the capital that we spent for 285 servings of potato balls is 8,342.50, while in one year, we spent 100,110. This is our table for income statement. So for five years, as we can see in the year one, the net income is 21,685.20. Well, for year two, the net income is 23,853.72. And for year three, the net income is 26,237.80. For year four, the net income is 28,861.24. And for year five, the net income is 31,752.60. And here is Ms. Gonzalez to present the balance sheet. So this is the projected balance sheet. From Potato Balls 5 Years Balance Sheet Statement, total liabilities and equity for year 1 is 21,685.20. For year 2 is 23,853.72. For year 3 is 26,237.80. For year 4 is 28,861.24. And lastly is for year 5 is 31,752.60. And for the cash flow, here is Mr. Umali. This is our table for cash flow. It is a five year cash flow. The cash, the total cash flow outflows from year one is 112,362.10 for year two. 114,421.56 for year 3, 125,069.40 for year 4, 138,776.72 and for year 5, 152,778.90. Next slide. Feel free to approach us if you have any question. And this is our mini feasibility study in managerial accounting. 
Thank you for listening.